use their appeal. He raised the land speed record seven times. Typically daring were his runs on Daytona Beach. If anybody would like a real thrill, I suggest that they drive this old car at a speed of anything between 270 and 280 miles an hour and they'll get a real kick, I can assure them of that. Three times he raised the water speed record. The water speed record still stands in his name. In common with a wide circle of friends and with the country at large, British Movie Tone News mourns the death of Sir Malcolm Campbell, who was for some years its editor. Malcolm Campbell was of the race of pioneers. In another age, he might have discovered continents. But in the 20th century, it was speed which attracted his adventurous spirit. But Malcolm Campbell was more than the acknowledged king of speed. He was a great realist and patriot. He stood for parliament in order to try and shake the complacency of the country about the Nazi menace. He wrote books warning us of the coming Second World War, the imminence of which, like a few other great men, he clearly foresaw. He campaigned for deep shelters in 1938 and 9 by every available means, including the newsreels of British Movie Tone News. I well remember his words to me about his own dugout. Structure here, but I only had it built with one object in view, and that was to waken up the public to a sense of danger that lay ahead. When war came, too old for a second spell of service with the infantry or air force, he went back at the age of 54 to take charge of a Provo company of motorcyclist police. He refused to consider himself too old for further activity. After the war, when he was 60, he set about raising his water speed record with a jet engine Bluebird. He encountered difficulties which he had not overcome when he died. Malcolm Campbell always gave credit to his friends and staff. Here is the sentence which never failed to turn up whenever he gave an interview. This is due in no small measure to the wonderful support and cooperation which I've had for my bonny lads here. Farewell to a great patriot.